expression vector means so these vectors when you clone your gene here and transform bacteria bacteria will produce proteins and expression vectors they have all the same features they have origin of replication they have uh, antibiotic resistance gene let's say canamycin resistance gene and in addition they have a promoter as well and the promoter I routinely used is you know uh, lactose or lac inducible promoter now in the multiple cloning sites after the promoter and they do have the transcription termination sites etc the multiple cloning sites here each of these let's say we are using a pet vector 21 a this is the name of the plasmid and this vector will tell you the reading frame so let's say you have here multiple cloning sites like uh, EcoR1, XPA1, we have KPN1, these are restriction enzymes we talked about earlier. Uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, EcoR5 and so on. These unique restriction enzymes, and we pick one, of, one or two of them which are of uh, our interest because they do not digest, they do not cut anywhere in the spike gene and they will not cut in the vector other than just in the multiple cloning sites. Now these vectors in relation to these restriction sites they already tell you that which how you should clone to ensure that your restriction sites are uh, so after uh, restriction digestion and ligation in the vector the reading frame is intact okay so Your cloning strategy should ensure that, you know, I have PCR amplification of spike gene. And let's say we used, and we will still use the same one which we previously used. Let's say we used EQR1 and XPA1. Okay. And if we use these two, ligate them here, you know, that ligation keeps our reading frame, open reading frame of the spike gene fully intact. Okay. How we do this, so now EQI1 and XPA1 are in the vectors. They are not present here. So what we do, since we integrated them in our cloning strategy, so we will say, okay, this is the... PCR primer, forward primer for spy gene. We will add G A A T T C in the beginning. So five, and this is the now complete forward primer, equal one. And similarly, we will have five to three for the reverse primer. We'll also have here, let's say T C T A G A and then the whole sequence and this will be the primer for reverse primer for spike gene okay. now what we are going to do once we have everything ready i told you the design of experiment we design primers we finalize vectors uh, general purpose cloning vector then the expression vector etc and now we are going to amplify spike gene from the cdna now the experimental uh, strategy will be so experimental strategy i told you will take patient total rna not DNA because this is our RNA virus. We will make cDNA using you know some of the viral specific promoter 
or we can simply take uh, you know a uh, spike gene primer as well normally what we do we take for example oligo dt primer when we take you know eukaryotic uh, messenger or total messenger rna we take because you know eukaryotic messenger rna they all has uh, like this they have long poly a chains and if you use oligo dt primer oligo dt means like this <clears throat> and then add reverse transcriptase an enzyme that make rna using rna uh, sorry which makes a dna using rna as a template so this will copy messenger rna because this is now 5 to 3 free free prime hydroxyl end and the elongation of this primer will make copies of this messenger RNA. So this is called now CDN. Copy DN. Okay. And reverse transcriptase is the enzyme which performs this function. So what we do, we will take patient total RNA. We can use viral specific uh, primers instead of uh, oligo DT. Uh, or you can use oligo DT as well. And then you make CDNA for virus. Once you have viral cdna once you have viral uh, cdna what we uh, can do we will now use the We'll use the spike specific primers, and these spike specific specific primers will amplify PCR with spike primers, and that will give you amplification of the spike gene. And that spike gene can be then cloned in general purpose cloning vector first. Once we will have it in general purpose cloning vector, we then can sequence it. Uh, and sequencing uh, tells us there is no error during the process of cDNA synthesis and then followed by PCR. So you have perfectly normal spike gene. Uh, from the general purpose cloning vector, you then lift your gene and go into bacterial expression vector. So, what we are going to do in the next uh, next uh, video is we are going to have uh, cDNA synthesis from uh, patient sample, and then we are going to uh, do PCR uh, of spike gene clone it in the general purpose cloning vector and then uh, subclone it in the bacterial expression vector. So stay tuned.